Welcome back with us, folks. Tonight, we are focusing again on double tops. Yes, you saw our last video, and tonight we're going to implement a few more things. Not only are we looking at double tops, but hey, we have to look for a target. The target is down below, but where to? You know, if your, tar if your ticker is going like this, and then like that, very close to double top, and then it starts going down obviously this could be a target but if it breaks under where does it go to when is your target you have to have a plan you decided to have a plan of entering on the double top now where's your target on the downside if you decided to go puts on that on that top or you wanted to short the stock which is the same thing um where do you take profit? What's your goal? What's your target? Is it, um, it, it, it all depends on many things, but it can be on a time. If you don't want to hold overnight, uh, basically you need to believe that you should close before the end of the day, or if you're trading SPY, Qs, uh, IWM, other tickers may allow you to close up until 4 15 so 15 minutes after the closing bell so time can be a situation other thing to, to watch is price level um, price level will create a support level so you need to have a price level targeted before you you enter and another situation is an event is, is there something scheduled? Do we have data coming out at a certain time? Is it FOMC minutes coming out at a certain time? Is it the president speaking? Is it uh, a press conference being held about something? Now, all these things can contribute to a target area on the downside. Now, let's look at a real chart and tell you what, hap what happens in real life. If you followed us on this morning's podcast, we tried to expose and explain to you the headlines or the big lines behind the current Russia and uh, Ukraine conflict, trying to put you up to speed on what was happening. Um, we had a day off on Monday, although the market decided to gap down following fear of invasion and the uncertainty behind what's, what's happening and what is going to happen. The situation is quite tense because what they're asking, what uh, Russia is asking, is Ukraine pulling away from the um, signing up into NATO uh, and basically Depending on what happens with that uh, is pretty much what will decide on the fate of uh, invasion or not. Uh, I don't want to get into politics, but I'm just showing you that because of this uncertainty, it creates a lot of fear. People don't know what's going to happen. And that created a big drop on, on that, well, a gap down, let's say, on the open. And basically... Uh, are we going to go any lower than the lows of what we had overnight? Um, it's all a matter of looking, putting a step back. So what I'd like to do, and this is, you know, I'm not showing you to the right yet because basically this is prepping before your day. And, and just to give you an idea of what to look for, because, you know, I, I don't like to show what happened afterwards. It's, it's all a matter of trying to, to, to prep your day before it happens and why we're looking at certain points and what could be a good trade idea. So follow me on this. Now, this is a five minute chart. You all see that there's a big gap on the on Monday morning. Basically, we're, we were closed on Monday, but um, on Tuesday morning, sorry. So let's move back a little bit to the one hour chart and uh, see where we had support. See this? to support, I'll put a line here to, for you to see. So this yellow line shows support, right? Uh, it shows that 
a few days ago, last week, Monday, we came down to this, tested the bottom, and then started rising, hitting this, this line is 200 EMA, if you guys are asking what it is, this, um, this green line is 200 EMA, rejected it many times, and then came down very close to our yellow line, but you see that it's getting rejected again here and then flush through. Now, I said to zoom out because use the same line, 43.29, very close to it. Um, let's go to five minute chart for today. This is the open, right? We are double topping, and I showed you what a double top is. Obviously, you guys are starting to know what it is, right? You see, this is a double top. Uh, if anyone gets this line right, obviously, when we hit it on the way up, is this a triple top? And then it's going to bounce up, down. Or if we break through this line, it means we're being bullish. Uh-uh. If you plan it ahead, you see that on the one hour chart, there was a double bottom that was also old support, now becomes resistance. So if a trigger is higher than this double top, it doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet. See, we could hit that and reject it. So we're higher than the, the pre-market high. Looking like all well, fancy, we're going to get bullish. No, we trap a lot of people on this line. Let's move out of here so you can see exactly what I mean. See, this is what happened at the gate. Oh, right? Yes, there was a little flush, profit taking, because a lot of people thought that, you know, this could be bad. Some profit taking, and we go up to what? Just the line I just showed you on the one hour chart. It didn't move it. Then, it went a little above it, but not much. Now, this is your double bot. This, your, this is your double top. And from there, it's going to go down. Why? Uncertainty, fear. People hate not to know what's going to happen. And in the uh, on the blackboard, I showed you where do you look for a target? What's your target? When, in this particular case, you knew that Biden was going to talk at roughly, because he says 2, but it's not always 2, 2 p.m. So you can think that we may start sinking all the way until 2 p.m. That's one thing. So if it starts sinking slowly but surely, um, where will it take us to? 2 p.m all the way until this conference. What will he say at 2 p.m. that could trigger a huge sell-off? Are we going into World War III? I guess not. I mean, he's not gonna say at two o'clock on a conference saying, people, I wanna tell you in the mid-afternoon that we're going into World War III. No, that's probably not it. So, what worse could go on a day like today in a conference saying what could happen. So basically, not that it's going to get bullish, but the fact that we didn't know something and now we start knowing, that could be something that could trigger a bounce. However, let's move out of here for a second. Well, see how this is moving down? Oh, okay. Where to? I said time, an event conference and price level. I know some of you don't care about pre-market levels, pre-market high, pre-market lows. Well, I'll show you something. Now take your cursor here and draw the line. This is pre-market support. This is as low as it went, right? You all agree on this line here? This is what we showed you last week. This becomes a double bottom Basically, pre-market, people that have money to trade spy after hours, even at 3 a.m., even late at night, these people decided to buy at this level. 
Did they know anything that is really different now in the middle of the night? I doubt they would. They did. Let's take this same line and bring it to a target that we could have, right? Oh, really? Same line, price level. This double bottom that we had pre-market after hours is now the same bottom that we bounce on. So basically you had your double top that was bound to drop until what? That's your target. You have to look for targets like these that are very safe exit points because it's bound to bow, bounce a little bit um, on, on this level because it did bounce after hours and pre-market. At least it's going to bounce a little bit. So this area is a very safe exit strategy. Then you can go for calls if you wish. I thought personally it was a little risky to play that on a conference in a conflict in a uh, very uh, news driven market. But this area for a target was very precise on a previous double bottom. So we saw this double bottom last week, we reviewed it. We are looking at a double top. We saw that yesterday again. So when you enter, where's your target? Look for places like that. An event, two o'clock. See how we are very close to this two o'clock event. Um, a price level. And so event, event was the conference time at two o'clock. No matter what, algos will be driven to this two o'clock line because it has been scheduled ahead and price level. All, all things you guys, uh, you guys can look at when you enter for possible target. So we covered double bottoms, double tops. All these things can really help to find the proper entry and proper exit. Now, we told you guys in podcast, try to trade like a pro. And uh, it, I believe you guys with the, the new tools that we're showing, we truly hope that you can improve your trading. Thanks for watching.